Hello everyone, this is Cypherzilla here, and today we're going to be doing a tier list on the Godzilla Battleline characters. So as you can see, I do have a, a new little category up here called Nerf. That's just going to be basically the S plus tier list, but all the units that are going to be up here are units I think need some kind of nerf because they are too overpowered in some way. So starting off with Anguirus, I'm going to go ahead and put him... Um, just for now in B tier to have a good start off. Stealth Bomber, obviously. D tier. Batra Larva. As a unit by himself. C tier. It's basically a guaranteed evolution into Batra, who I would say is at least A tier for now. Rose form by Lante, I would say. Yeah, I can go there. Normal Violante, I would say, is S plus, especially in maps with a lot of water. Alt Violante, she is pretty good. I'm wondering, I don't think she's S tier, but I would say even with the new update to Batra, she's still better than Batra. This Chibi Godzilla. Has D tier. Put in Stealth Bomber. Now these most hated unit in the game. Top of the nerf. They're just so unbelievably overpowered. It's kind of ridiculous, and they don't deserve to be overpowered. They should be like not that strong, especially for a four cost. They need to have higher cost, a lot less health, and do less damage. If they want to keep all those crazy abilities they have, that's what they need to do. Because otherwise, they're just running the meta right now like brain dead decks just use them and you basically win by default des Ghidorah, i don't know if i should put him in nerf or top of s he's definitely really good i wouldn't say you should nerf him but he's gonna be definitely top of s but he's crazy good he's one of the few counters to chibi duo that usually works but not always because they're still just so overpowered that ride, one of them will counter, or not counter, life, distract them, and then something's... they'll get like almost stunlocked and it's game over. And by the time that freaking you do defeat Chibi Duo with Dez, they can just drop another Chibi Duo and it's just stupid. Um, this form of Destroy Larva is coming below. Dante, a flying form, guaranteed evolution, but by itself, bottom of B. This Destroyer, definitely gonna be S. Uh, I'd say he's really good for damage, and he does turn into the, the little larva after he's killed, but still not as good as Biolante, because Biolante is a 3 cost. Oh boy, another nerf. Yeah, that's it's, it's just stupid together. You're going to see almost everything in the nerf category pairs with Chibi Duo, but he just does so much damage with that horn slash. It's crazy. I think... For a 5 cost, it's kind of ridiculous. They need to up them to either a 6 or a 7 and maybe, I don't know, make them slower or something. He just runs down the field. It's kind of dumb. Um, these, honestly, these are, I don't know if I see C or D. I don't really see too many people use them, but they're not bad. I'll put them here for now. Dimension Tide, I'm not gonna lie, it's overrated, like by a lot. Like I don't find that much use in using it, and people who do use it, like it doesn't really do a whole lot towards me unless you're using something that like maybe Desgadoya or minus one Goji to reel them in. But it's four costs just to do that. It's not entirely worth it. So let's see. It's, I'm not putting in the S. I'm gonna put it probably top of A because I can see why people think it's so good, but it's just they're just better units. Dorats are actually really good, not gonna lie. Um, people are just sleeping on Dorats. I'm gonna put them actually at least top of B for now. Energy base. Oh, I don't like energy base because. 
every time I take my trains off my team, I see energy base pop up. And then when I put trains back on my team, someone uses energy base or no one's using energy base when I have trains on my team. So very mid unit tower. I'm gonna put it just there for now because it's a toss up whether it actually is worth it or not. This one, let's say, you know, we never really see any of these, but it is a good unit. It's just no one's putting any levels into it. This Ava unit, Ava one, I think that's what it's called. It's not good. Put it there. It's, it's targeting is just so bad. This one's even worse. Honestly, like I might put this in D. It's so bad. Below that, honestly. This one's also really bad. I would say it's at least a little bit better. This one, also another bad one. It's where like all the main Avas are kind of bad. This is probably one of the worst ones. It'd be, I don't know, because it just shoots so slow. And while it does have a great range, it's the damage it does is not that crazy for it to shoot that slow. So it's going to go, I'll see behind the Chibi. See if we can go up up here. All right, fourth angel. He has fallen a lot. He's still really good, but I'm not seeing any recently. So put him there. There's just too many flyers around now that he's not doing his ground damage like he should. Sande is getting better. I've been experimenting with it with my void deck. Because all you have to do is just slow down on a whole push of characters and that gives you enough time to grind up your energy to use Void at level 9 and it'll just wipe everything out. So I'm gonna have Sande actually here. Full low dimension tide. Camera is really good. We'll go ahead and put camera about... I think be above that because it just does a lot of damage to flyers and there are a lot of flyers around now this one's even better honestly i might have to put this in s tier even though we haven't seen any for a while this season it's just so good uh once people get the levels back on it it'll be going crazy and especially because he has stun immune and hits in an aoe it's good against chibis this Ghidorah is at least top of B. And then Mecha King Adora. He's going in S. Because also a counter to Chibis. Yeah, I'm saying he's behind that version of Gamera. Thousand Year Dragon. He does really good damage. And this season, the little shield thing he has up actually works against Void Ghidorah. So he's extra good this season, although not a lot of people have levels on him. But I'll put him... Um... Yeah, actually, you can go right there for now, I guess. This Ghidorah... Uh, yeah, he's really good, but like... Again, no one has levels on him. Hmm. I, I want to put him in A, but... We just never really see him. Uh, I'll put him about here for now. We're gonna skip him or leave him till the end. Let's see, this Ghidorah is kind of mid, not gonna lie. I'm trying to think where he should go. Probably, I would not say he's A tier. He's better than this Ghidorah, but maybe just by a little bit. I'll have him there. Giant Octopus, overhyped. I'm sorry, Sir Melee. But it's got to be like one of the worst units in the whole game. Like actually, it's it's so pointless. Like you're basically wasting two energy. All the only thing it's good for is to maybe stop like a King Caesar or a Mothra Leo. That's it. It just it's does no damage. Has barely any health. The slow is good, sure, but I can just do that with Sande for the same cost anywhere on the field. It, it's just it's not good. I can. He's about the same as, you know, this one right here, but I'd say a little better. 
I do see some teams going around him, so I'd say he's about up there. Final Wars Gigan, really good. I'm gonna have to put him honestly all the way up there because it was his little stun he does, and he's only four costs, and he does actually surprising my damage. Not a lot of health, but he's still really good. The base Godzilla from the start of the game. Eh, there's so many flyers around now. I'm gonna have to put him about there. Waka Godzilla is really good. Mm, I don't know if he's. I'm trying to think. I would say just around here somewhere. I'd say he's not as good as Thousand Year Dragon. Old Man Jenkins, the first one. It's pretty bad. Uh, I mean, not pretty bad, but compared to his alternative form, not that worth it. I'm gonna put him about there. Yeah, this is slowly getting better and better, especially this season. He is also a counter against Void, and it's been really annoying for me because I do use Void. So... He's going up. Up in the world. I'll put him about... I would say... What about there? Probably my favorite design of Godzilla. He needs something done with him. He needs, like... I don't know. Maybe higher damage or a lowered cost. He's just not doing what he needs to be doing. Honestly, I'm gonna have to put him there. I wish he was better, but it's kind of sucking. GMK. Let's say probably bottom of S maybe, or top of A. He still gets stunned pretty heavily by Chibis, even though he's supposed to be good against them. Um, his damage is okay, but he he has won me quite a few matches from like hitting another unit right next to the opposing leader and then that would kill them. So um, for now, I'll put him there. Uh, the two Kiryu Gojis, definitely better than Godzilla 2000. I'd put him his first form, be about there. And then the second form is better but I'd only put it to, up to there. Final Wars Goji, also he needs some sort of upgrade. He's my favorite form of Godzilla, at least not appearance wise, but just, I, know, I guess personality wise and his movie. He also needs something done with him. Maybe like, I don't know, faster attack speed or a little more health, something maybe because he deserves to be extremely strong and He's currently not it. Um, I'll have him. Uh, should he even be it? I'll put him there for now. This Godzilla can basically be destroyed by any swarm unit or any stun unit. Otherwise, he will just eat everything up. But that's not really working because of Shibi Duos Exist and, you know, Gigan and, you know, a whole bunch of things that could just stop him. So, I'll put him... You can go about there. Minus one. Really good. He's a good counter this season against Void because of his healing. He gets stunlocked hard against these guys, unfortunately. Honestly, should I put him above Gigan? I feel like he could be above Gigan because of his healing. His Godzilla got a lot better uh, with the introduction to Riot Goji because his damage is, he basically just halves your health if he manages to get a shot off with that critical hit. It's kind of hard to keep, be kept alive unless you're constantly guarding him somehow. Uh, have to put him probably here-ish. Burning Goji also needs some sort of upgrade like Final Wars because he just, I think all they really need to do is up his damage a little bit and make his explosion timer shorter so he can get that huge explosion faster. 
because it takes it takes so long for that final explosion to happen and basically it never happens so and he's supposed to be also one of the strongest Godzillas but he's just not performing well so I'll put him probably there Godzilla Earth really good but this season he can just get destroyed by void for the same cause and void just also kills everything else on the field but he does have that stun immunity and he's a walking tank but um he's not honestly he's not even s anymore i'd say he's about somewhere around here maybe there Evolved Godzilla is really good, but again, no one has a whole lot of levels on him. I kind of get destroyed by him all the time. I would say probably top of B, if not even in the A. So I'm going to just put him here for now. Actually, he might actually be above Batra, so there is good. But again, no one really has any levels on him. And the people that do are crazy. Alright, Ride Goji is really good for that critical hit. Like I said, with uh, Inza. No one currently has levels on him, but... Wow, that critical help hit does help a lot. So, I'd have to put him... Probably... There for now. Terrestris... He's not a guaranteed evolution, but they did make it slightly easier. I'll probably put him top of C. And then Ultima, the sniper god. Hmm. Might actually be A tier. Maybe like right behind Evolved. Oh god, this tower. It it could be so much better. They just need to increase its damage and like health by a lot. And it like it leaves so quickly. It should not. Like this tower right here stays on the field for quite a while, but this one just it doesn't. It's got to be one of if not the worst tower in the game. This one. It's really good against Chibi Duo. Uh I wouldn't say it's S cuz not a lot of people have levels on him right now. But he's only at 3 cost, and he does what he needs to do. I'm about to put him probably about there. Gauss is really good. Also, not, not a lot of people have levels on him, but he's usually paired with Rainbow Mothra, which gives him that invincibility, and he's only 3 cost. Honestly, because of that, once you get the late game, if you manage to have all those Gauss out, and you don't have a unit like GMK, to wipe them all out, he is crazy. So actually I'm gonna put him about there. This form of Hedora not doesn't really do anything. So it's, it's usually guaranteed evolution. But it just doesn't do anything until then. So I'll put him And then normal Hedora used to be better. I, I think it needs some sort of upgrade. Because Hedora is supposed to be pretty strong. Maybe more health. Put it about right there. Just put that there. This one uh, got a pretty good improvement. Wouldn't say it's out of D tier, but those shoppers can be a little annoing, although they usually get destroyed by Desgadora. Uh, it's definitely better than it used to be. Oh, Senior Point. Jet Jaguar. Really good. Might even be put in S, I'm thinking about it. Because he also, he blocks four shots from Void. So, yeah, he's going to be probably about there. This form of Jet Jaguar, not good. It needs to do like, it needs to be lowered cost. I forgot what it's cost. I thought it was like three or two or something. Might, if it's a one cost, then that's fine. But it needs to be a one cost. It needs to do way more damage increase. 
Um, so I'm gonna put it there. Yes, it's better than Giant Octopus because at least it can do some like, it gives you more damage at least. This form, it got an upgrade a while ago. Upgrade wasn't that much, didn't help it too much. I'm gonna have to put it. I wish he was better, but even at his low cost, is not amazing. Because of that, he might even just be down here, actually. Macarus. Really good at blocking things. He's basically the Shinden for the ground. And everyone has high levels on him. Mine's almost level 40. I think he's good there. Probably. The swarm, no one uses it. I'm gonna put him probably below like that. It's just, it, it needs something done with it. Maybe a lowered cost for it to be usable. Almond Rider. Kinda slept on. No one's using him. But if everyone had high levels on him, he probably would be S because his damage is kind of crazy. I don't think he needs to do that much damage, but he does for some reason. So I'll have him right there, I would say. Yeah, that's, that's probably good because of that knockback he does as well. It's gotten a little better this season because I don't remember if void if the void doesn't work if you're using kids on a unit but if it does that makes it even better i think it needs to have like its cost lowered again for it to be meta relevant but for now i'll put it probably about there king caesar eh basically just him but doesn't do that ranged attack i'd say about there maybe yeah kiryu really annoying although you can usually get rid of him with macros or shinden but if you don't have either of those out already or like able to be placed or in your team at all kiryu will mess you up usually like he does quite a lot of damage i don't think I'd put him in S. He'd be top of A, but his... I'm trying to think of his other forms even better. It kind of is, unless it does its long range attack. But it, I think it does a little more damage. I could be mistaken. For now, I'll just put him top of A. This one, basically right next to him. I would say just slightly better. Because he does do that AoE explosion. Usually will hit more cams than this one does. It's like slightly bigger. This version of Kiryu. I would say... It, it, he's kind of crazy. He's apparently good against TVs, but I don't have a high enough level on him to use him right now. But I know he is good against basically everything. He does do crazy damage. So I'll put him I'll be about there. Normal Kong. Eh. Eh. You can go about there. He he doesn't do very much. He just has some damage. Beast Glove Kong. It's about time we had another unit that needs a nerf because he does crazy damage when he's using his glove and he doesn't have the axe in his hand. And that invincibility he gets while he's jumping should not exist. Like actually he's gonna be above Ariake because of that. Like it, it's stupid that he has that invincibility. So he needs a nerf, he needs that taken away, he needs slightly lower damage or he needs like a cost increase or something because he's, more overpowered than he should be. This guy right here. What they did, the nerf they did to him is what they need to do to Chibi Duo. Like, I will say that every time. 
that Kumo Augment's nerf needs to be applied to Chibi Duo because, God, this guy was so annoying before the nerf, and now, thankfully, he's not a problem anymore. The Kumo Bog there. This, not very good. No one uses it. Probably put it about there. Emboss. The normal emboss are not that good either. I would say there. The emboss base also got that little upgrade along with the t this helicopter. I would say it is actually better than the helicopters because of all that stun it does. This Mechagodzilla, not very good. Uh, very starry unit. Honestly, I'm gonna have to put him here. Actually, yeah, yeah, that's good. Now for this guy. Damn, he's good. I might even put him above minus one because of his range and his slow and the AOE. It's really good. Yeah, I think he's good there. Although for this season, because minus one does have that healing against Void, he'll be above him. Show a Mecha Godzilla. Ah, oh, they really need to get rid of that that little time he has where he does nothing when he transforms. Like they need to make him be able to attack during that time because currently that's a big downfall for him. So I'm gonna have to put him about. Rob, I mean, you do get that other character beforehand, the other version of Godzilla. So I suppose he can go out there. Legendary Mechagodzilla, who is kind of good, but he has to get so close. It's kind of annoying how close he has to get. I feel like once he uses his missiles, he shouldn't need to get that close to units. But... I would say he's good enough to be we out there. Um, we're not going to do him yet. We're leaving him till the end. Um, this guy, unfortunately, his cost is just too high for no reason. He does not. He should be like a four or even a three cost. Like it's he doesn't, and he would be so good otherwise. Um, I'll put him out there. Egalon really good in fact he's gonna go an s somewhere high in s probably for this season he can go there that damage reduction is just really good mega gear is i feel like needs another upgrade i feel like it should be faster it should attack faster she just even with her lowered cost now no one's really using her because she just doesn't do a whole lot. So I might have to put her about there. Manila. Not the great. Not, not the greatest. Um somewhere around here probably. Honestly, below them. Missiles! Honestly, better than Giant Octopus, because at least you can do some damage anywhere. It really needs its cost lowered to be like, I don't know, a three or something to be worth it. But five for that is actually stupid, considering you can get, you know, this Ariake or Chibi for that cost or lower. So yeah, missiles, really bad. Not as bad as these other two. Mogira. She's kind of annoying, always paired with Kiryu, but base, it's honestly basically the exact same thing as Kiryu, but without that AOE, so I'm gonna have to put her probably there. Mogira. I'm sorry to say this, 
that's another unit that needs a nerf because oh my god this is also paired with these are all gonna be paired together and that they just need a nerf they're st stupidly overpowered ogira for four cost for all that damage reduction she does for every like i forgot what the unit's level was it's like i don't know five or lower and she has that crazy range it's, uh, it's overpowered and it she needs like maybe her cost to be increased or maybe that damage reduction she does the timer for that to be lowered or no increased so it doesn't happen as often right now honestly i'm gonna have to put her even above Ariake. it's just so strong monster x my boy my favorite unit or not favorite unit favorite character out of all of these He's not as strong as he should be. And I have him, uh, I think, level 28. I could have gotten him to level 30, but I want to use my teammates on Void Ghidorah. Uh, he could be so much better. All they need to do is literally make him attack faster. He attacks too slow. Like, I don't know why he attacks that slow. Like, when he does his tail kick, he kind of just, like, pauses for no reason. They need to make him attack faster for sure. But he's not bad, so probably put him right there. And then Kaiser, the same thing, attacks so incredibly slow for, like, no reason. So he's going to get constantly stunlocked by everything. The healing he does is really good. His damage is really good. His health is... I'd say almost pretty good but he just needs his attack speed to be lower so he can bite things faster attack faster and not get stun locked so for now yeah he can go probably there is good for now i wish he was i wish he was s tier but he's not this version of mothra the larva form. Actually not very easy to evolve because she takes a while and she basically cannot defend herself. But I'll put her about there. Mothra. S tier. I haven't seen any like for a while. Like she's not used that much often, but she's still really good. Um, and for that reason, I think she could be, be bottom of S for now. Legendary Mothra, also really good. Um, its cost is a little much. I think it should be a five cost, even with that like reduced or um, that energy you gain back. She's still, it's a lot to use six energy to place her down, but that stun immunity does help, especially since the most overpowered unit is these guys. But not a lot of people have levels on her. I have slowly been seeing more and more. So I'll put her about at least there. This is Mothra Leo. Used to be really strong. Now, not so much. I would say about there is good. Rainbow Mothra. Definitely gonna be S tier, almost near the very top. I would say be below Biolante because actually considering uh, while it does usually is is uh, paired with Gauss it's also all the time paired with Chibi Duos and for that reason it's just it's so annoying I'll have to put it probably there next is the speedster and not amazing but not bad i mean it is pretty good especially in the water but it kind of sucks that it goes back like it just auto deletes itself basically um Honestly, right there is pretty good, I think. Baranga. Yeah, he is good, but could be better because, you know, these guys 
do what he does, but just way better. Although he does have that invisibility, it's not too helpful. So I'll have to put him about, I would say there. Orga's in the house. I've seen him be really good at high levels, but otherwise, no. I'll put him. He's a great tank and he comes back to life for all that damage, but he kind of just stands there when he comes back to life and that lets units kill him before he can even get like two shots off. Yeah, he's gonna be there. Psychic Chorus. Really good this season against Void. So. Put it there. I've been using it for a long time. Also, have it really high level. Rodan. It's about the same as. Um, where did I put that Mecha Godzilla? Oh, he's here. Okay, well, he's a little better because he can fly. Uh, I'll put him up about there. This Rodan. He kind of just exists to die. And so it makes him really easy to use to get Fire Rodan. And the speed boost is sometimes helpful. So we can go about there. Fire Rodan, especially this arrive, season, is an S tier for that healing. It'll help you against Void and a Pickle if you're lucky. I'll have to put him about there. Shimo is kind of mid. I feel like it should do a lot more damage and maybe even more health. And, but like, eh, eh, I would say about there. Kamata Kun. About the same as Maha, but at least he has that healing, so I would say a little bit higher. This one, really easy to evolve, just put him behind your leader. So, but he does nothing otherwise. So I would say... Eh, there. Shin Godzilla. He needs a buff. I would say give him maybe... It'd be nice if he had some sort of regeneration, but he doesn't. Um, he could also maybe use some more damage. There are a lot of flyers going around. But he still just doesn't do what he should be doing. I'll put him... Probably there. Shinden! way up here it does the same as cams but it will usually help you more because it'll distract units away from you so i'll put it about there scar king I've actually you've been seeing more and more of him i guess people are getting leveled on that little stun he does and pulling you in and then doing a bunch of damage is good i don't really see his little Attack boost happen a whole lot to units around him. Um, he's pretty good. I would say... Probably around... Here-ish. Maybe even here. Space Godzilla. Got a, got a good upgrade. Those increased crystal production. Um, he doesn't do too much damage though, even with his attack boost he has. But all those crystals are good for blocking. So I'm gonna have to put him probably there. This guy. This guy. Would he be in the nerf category? Uh, I would say almost. Almost needs a nerf. Um, 
The reason why I say that is because for some reason, if he's about to attack a unit, but then he dies, his chain lightning still goes off, even though he's been defeated. Uh, and they need to fix that and get rid of that. Um, and maybe, I don't know. He's just, he does so much damage and those crystals he shoots out is really annoying. It's basically, it's basically its own distraction like Shinden. Uh, so yeah, he just does a lot of damage even after he dies for some reason. Super X has fallen a lot. Uh, basically never see him. Uh, so not that good. Honestly, probably there. This guy. I think this is the 10th angel. Um, he could be good if he had like maybe stun immunity. I mean, I'm not saying he's bad. He is good, but he'd be way better if he had stun immunity. Um, because otherwise these guys just kind of destroy him. Um, and I wish his explosion was way larger. It's so small for like no reason. So he can go about... I know he's not as good as fourth angel. He's not even A tier. He could be like maybe. I mean, his piercing is good, and it goes pretty far. Say above this guy. Only a few more left. Trains. Really good. Um, especially for ending games, unfortunately. I've, I've lost many times simply because the opponent had trained, so they just used that to finish me off. Um, I would say it's even better than Psychic Chorus by a little bit. So there's good. Ultraman. Used to be really good. They should... I don't know if they should give him uh, a buff... So I remember him being really annoying when he first came out, and then I think they nerfed him. Um, but he does deserve to be pretty strong, but he's not not the best right now. I'd say... He does have that stun immunity, though. So... Probably around here. Probably there. Zeton, Zeton, Zeton. Not that good. Um, he needs to do more damage. He needs to increase his damage by a lot. Because um, otherwise it's just a tank. That's it. And uh, it'll, it, it will get destroyed. So... It used to be pretty good for some reason. I don't know why it's not good anymore. I remember when it first came out, I would use it with Godzilla Earth and push it across the field. And it was crazy good. But for some reason, it just doesn't seem like it is anymore. So he'll be there. Now, finally, time for the new units. This guy. Really good. Especially against Chibi Duo. But before he gets his lance, lances, uh, he's not that good. Even with that little like invincibility he has, which does again help against Void. Um, he just he's usually killed off before he can get halfway across the field. So for that reason, um, even with increased levels this season, I'm gonna have to put him probably top of A. And now Void. Who deserves to be the strongest unit in the whole game? He's going to be... I would say... Here-ish. Probably around here. Um, and the reason I say that is... Well, yes, you can wipe the board with him. For nine energy, um, 
Usually it takes a little too long for that to happen and units will reach your side and do some damage to you, usually too much damage to you. So um, while it does, it is good for what it does, it takes a while for that damage to come out. And nine, nine energy is a lot to use on him. Although it is usually worth it against an entire push you then lose it and then your opponent is usually just a little bit higher in energy compared to you. So I would say he's probably good there. And that was it. This is the whole tier list. Thanks y'all for watching. And I'll see you next time, whenever next time is. Bye bye.